What's up guys, Modern Mining here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I was gonna make a video on which GPU you should purchase for crypto mining, but then I went on to Hashrate NO and saw just how low the profitability is right now. And I decided to pivot a little bit and maybe look at the brighter side of things. Why profits may be looking grim right now, but if you look at the complete picture of GPU mining, why things aren't as grim as they seem. Let's hop into the computer and get to it. Right here we have Hashrate NO. If you don't know about this website, it's a great site to be able to look at GPUs and what their profitability numbers are, the revenue and then your profit minus power. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know what Hashrate NO is. But if you don't, it's a great site, I would check it out. So I was originally gonna make a video on why I like the 3060 Ti and the 3070 as far as a great balance between efficiency and also just general low cost of the GPU if you get it in the used market. But then I went down here to the 3060 Ti and I saw that it's only making 11 cents a day profit and your ROI time is 3,673 days. So based on that, you're gonna buy this GPU and you're not gonna make a profit for another 10 years. Obviously, no one is gonna do that and that's just to break even, that's not even to make a profit. But if you dig down a little bit into the numbers, let's look at why this is not fully accurate and why it shouldn't sway people against GPU mining too much. Even though right now profits are terrible, I won't try to cover that, but there is a bright side that's on the horizon and uh, I'll show you why. If we go in to the 3060 Ti right here, it's telling us that our ROI is 3,600 plus days. But if you see, that's calculating based on MSRP of the card at $399. Now, I would not recommend buying a 3060 Ti or even a 3070 at $400 right now. Where I'm getting them from the used market, they generally tend to be $250. So let's pull out a calculator and see what our profitability is if we actually use the correct $250 that we would be buying these cards for used. So 250 divided by, let's use this 15 cent profit on lithium right now. So divided by 0.15, hey, now we're ROIing in 1,700 days. So still three, four years, that's, uh, maybe not the best investment but we have to look at these coins in terms of what their future value could be because if you're mining them and you're doing it correctly you're going to be holding these tiny coins if you have to you can sell some off to pay for your power bill but the great thing about like a lithium and carlson is that you're only spending 20 cents a day per 3060 ti so that's something that you should be able to pocket and then hold on to your coins long term. We have to look at these projects and these coins in terms of what could their future value be and then calculate with how many coins we're getting per day, how much is that in revenue and profit based on previous all-time highs or potential future all-time highs. So what I've done here is I've made a little spreadsheet and I didn't do all the coins, but I did do some of the top 10 most profitable coins on the 3060 Ti right now. And you can see I've got hash rate NO listings copy and pasted in here, but then I've got the previous all time high. Some of these are pretty close to all time high right now. And a lot of them are down pretty significantly from their all time high because after all we are in a bear market right now. Let's take Neoxa as an example. Looking on CoinGecko, the previous all-time high was about 1.7 cents. And if we take into account that we're getting 165 Neoxa every day that we're mining with the 3060 Ti, and we're only using 39 cents in power, if Neoxa went back to all-time high, what is our profitability every single day that we were mining in the bear market? And you can see right here that, that profitability is actually almost two and a half dollars. So some quick math here, 2.416 times 365 days, that GPU is almost making $1,000 a year if Neoxa was to go back to all time high and you had held all the coins you've mined for a whole year. So this is a great example of how you can kind of see that profits look 
really grim right now, but that one single graphics card can make you almost $900 a year if things go as planned. And honestly, a lot of these coins are gonna go higher than their previous all-time highs, we hope at least. How you can sort of guarantee at least a little bit better returns is getting a small bag of each one of these coins so that if some do good, they're gonna cover for the coins that maybe didn't do as good. And that way you're diversified between many coins and you have a better chance of making some crazy gains on at least a few of the coins that you've mined. So let's go through the list a little bit more and see what else we've got going on here. Elephium is a coin that's pretty close to its all time high. So we're only making 11 cents profit a day on a 3060 Ti. But if it was back at all time high, we'd be making 20 cents per day. Going down the list, Xano. Right now we're making 11 cents profit a day. At all time high, we'd be making a little over a quarter a day. Continuing down, let's find one that's a little bit more of a difference. Something like Radiant is pretty uh, considerable because right now we're only making six cents in profit, but at all time high, we'd be making almost a dollar a day in profit. So personally, I think it's a good idea to, if you have some spare money sitting around to start purchasing a GPU here, a GPU there, only when you're finding insane deals. I almost got a 4060 Ti for $200 the other day on Facebook Marketplace and the guy backed out last second. If I'd gotten that card, that would be the type of deals that you should be looking out for in the bear market, especially when you're doing GPU mining. Because a lot of these cards, if it's anything like the last crypto bear market, a 3060 Ti could be worth $700, $800, Maybe if it doesn't go as high as last bull run, even $600. So you wanna get these cards while they're semi cheap so that you already have all these cards once the bear market hits and these profits start to pick back up. That's the main point I wanted to get across in this video is that keep hope up guys because profits look bad right now, but all it takes is Bitcoin to go on a tear over the next year. And then a lot of these coins are start, gonna start to accelerate in price and that 10 cents a day you're making a profit now could easily become 50 cents per day per card. If you've got 20 cards, boom, you're making $10 a day. And then you do that for a whole year. Now you've got almost $4,000 in crypto all from running some graphics cards. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button on Modern Mining, a budget oriented view on home crypto. Got a lot more projects coming and See you guys next time. Peace.